Hello and welcome to Charger Games. My name is Raja and this is ninth episode of Unity C Sharp scripting tutorial. So in the last video we have learned about if else statements and from this video we're going to learn about loops. Loops are one of the most important concepts in programming and they become very handy in most of the situations. So that is why I thought of making a separate video to discuss only the concept of loop and in the subsequent videos we will learn about the specific loops. So let's get started. So to so start with this video, what is a loop? So here as you can see, here I have a playlist of this video series and what is happening is currently there are only 8 videos in this playlist. So if I just uh, start from one, what will happen is YouTube will play from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then it will stop. So, what if I want to play from one to eight and then I want to start from one again? In order to do that, there's a special functionality called repeat playlist. If I just click on this, so now the repeat playlist is on. So, now what will happen is if I start from 1 and then go on playing and when it reached 8 and when the 8th video gets completed it will again start from 1 and again it will go execute this and again go from 1 and again execute this so it will uh, repeatedly play these videos again and again and again until I just close this window or close this tab or I just uncheck this repeat playlist option so this is very important. It's gonna it's gonna play all the videos again and again and again until I just close this tab or I just uncheck this option. So this is the very fundamental concept of loop. Looping means doing some tasks again and again and again until a certain condition is satisfied. So as an example, here you can see that YouTube will be will play this playlist starting from 1 to 8 and then again it will repeat the same tasks or same videos it will repeatedly play the same videos until the condition that is a repeat playlist is checked is satisfied that means it will check if repeat playlist is true then it will execute the loop and when a repeat playlist is false it will just go and stop uh, repeating these videos so this is a very basic concept of loops so as an example if i give you an example from uh, a game so suppose um, okay so suppose whenever i just whenever i just click on the left mouse button i want the player to shoot a bullet okay so until i just click on the left mouse button I want the bullet to be bullet to go from the player's gun to the enemy towards the enemy so what I do is I I will create a loop that will be executed if the left mouse button is clicked so the condition here is left mouse button should be clicked so if left mouse button is clicked or pressed so then the loop will keep executing and the bullet will go and go and go so that is the basic concept of loops so I hope you guys got the very basic concept of loops and we have mainly two basic loops in uh, C Sharp or in any programming language you mainly have two loops uh, do loop uh, I'm sorry while loop and for loop uh, both of these loops both of the loops do the same task but their format there's a difference in their format and there are also two more loops there, those are do while loops and for each loop. We'll mainly talk about the while loop and for loop because most of this in most of the situations you can do most of the task with these two loops. And after that, I think we'll take a look at for each loop. So in the next couple of videos, we'll discuss about these individual loops. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. So thank you very, very much for watching and let's move on to the next video. Thanks.